Hello and welcome to the journey back to greatness. I am Ebony, aka Goddess Love and Life, and I just want to thank you so much for tuning in. I also want to just send some positive vibrations out. I hope everyone's having an amazing week, and I just thank you so much. Also, I really want to thank y'all for watching my first introduction video. It really means a lot to me. I thank you for everyone who liked, shared, uh, subscribed, and commented. Even if you just watched it, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Um, this is all stuff I'm passionate about, and it's very important to me and elevating higher and getting to higher frequencies is my number one goal and I'm just super excited to have y'all joining me on this journey so thank you um I promise to have a video every week for you guys um I'm sorry for this week well I'm sorry for last week not video um to be completely honest it's been a very um difficult time in my family my mom has not been uh, feeling very well and you know this cancer has it's, it's really draining it is and um, just asking everyone to send their positive vibes and prayers this way we absolutely need it so thank you and um, I really want to dedicate this video to my mom um, she's so amazing you know she's been fighting this battle for almost 10 years and She's the strongest woman that I know. Um, I'm so inspired by her. She gets up every day and, and goes about her life like normal. She doesn't complain. Uh, you would never know that she is a fourth stage metastasized breast cancer patient. You would never know. And I just, I really, um, I'm honored to be her daughter. And I just, I'm hoping to get all that strength from her. So thank you, Mom. And um, I just want to let you know that you are my Shiro. And I love you so much. Um, so the journey back to greatness. Um, I really want to talk about my journey, where I'm at, where I came from, where I'm trying to get to. Um, I would definitely explain my journey as um, I've always been pretty spiritual, even at a young age. But I just didn't know what to do with it. Um, so I would say my younger years, I spent them just doing what society said was cool, what society said was the thing to do. Um, you know, so I did the whole club thing and all of that. Um, I really wish I had tapped into this earlier because um, I would have, you know, really would have enjoyed being into this instead of being out in the world. I mean, we know that it's just, you know, it's just... Uh, chaos in the world but um I would say like maybe two years ago um uh things were not too good with my mom and I was going through a breakup and I instead of me wanting to go out and you know trying to take my mind off of it and you know turn to alcohol and clubbing I decided to to heal myself by myself. And it was amazing. I, I, I came out of solitude, completely tapped into who I am, um, knowing what I want, what I wanna do. Um, um, I'm, I'm more into, you know, if, 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 it, if it's not benefiting me, if it's not making me better, then I don't wanna do it. Um, and that's kind of where I am now. I am in a very peaceful place. Um, you know, even through the obstacles that I'm going through within my life, I still balance a really good um, attitude and mindset, um, which is very important for the journey back to greatness because, you know, we have to breathe like everything is okay. We have to know in our minds that everything is going to be okay. Um, basically tricking the body and tricking the cells to believe that everything is fine. So that's real manifestation. I'm big on manifestation. Um, you know, it, it, uh, it's amazing if you really know what you're doing. Um, so, and the place I want to get to is, um, I 
want to be able to control my emotions completely. Um, and I'm there, I'm pretty much there now, but I want to get to a level of, I can, you can tell me any kind of information. Um, and I, I don't react off my emotions. Um, I am, you know, looking for logic, looking for resolution. And that's it. Um, so that's my goal. I want to have a gamma state of mind. Um, a higher sense of alertness and focus. Um, I want to be a master of manifestation, of course. <laughs> I, I want to ascend higher. I want to elevate higher. Um, you know, it's a, this is a journey. This is a life journey. This is, you know, not a race. It's a marathon. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's just putting your best foot forward and um, really tapping into what is better what makes us feel better, what makes us actually better, and um, just tapping into that that God that's inside of you. Because um, when I went into solitude, you know, that was probably the most precious time I had with God. It was just me and God in me, and, and I just felt myself elevating in the conversations we would have and the things that I was that that was being shown to me is absolutely amazing. I really encourage everyone to just take some time to themselves in 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 solitude and really just hear yourself, hear your thoughts, uh, listen to the God that's inside of you, and um, really tap into that because it's so much power there. It's really amazing, really. Um, so yeah, that's my journey. That's where I'm trying to get to, you know, um, I seen this documentary. Um, uh, I love watching documentaries. So that's, that's, if it's not bettering me, then I don't want to do it. So everything I do is to better. I love to read. I love to watch documentaries. I love to meditate. I love to do anything that is making me evolve. Um, so I, I watched this documentary and it talked about um, our genes. Uh, they can store data um, from 15 to 20 generations ago. So that means that you're holding on to all the trauma, all the um, you know energy from those generations. And it's a proven fact that we can rewrite our DNA. So I'm also trying to um, heal generational curses, generational, you know, um, uh, emotions and, and um, all kinds of different things that go into that. So, yeah, that's my goal. <laughs> and, um, you know, we don't all have to be on the same goal. It doesn't matter where you're starting off at as long as your goal is to just be greater. Um, so we're all going to be different, you know, in different levels and, um, and, um, you know, and that's okay. As long as the journey is to get to greatness, <laughs> that's all that matters. So I'm just super excited about this and, um, you know, it's, it's amazing. You know, um, the journey back to greatness, I think the first step is self-love. Um, self-love is so important. Um, you know, self-love is going the uncomfortable route, um, so you can seek the highest reward. Um, it's loving yourself enough to give yourself discipline from the things that are not good for you and trans <laughs> transition into the things that are good for you. Um, you know, it, it comes with boundaries. It comes with isolation. And there's a lot of benefits in isolation, like I just talked about. You know, um, no longer uh, holding on to negative feelings or thoughts, you know, not letting them hold residency within you, within your mind or your body. You know, you have to get that out. You know, that's the first start of healing and detoxing is detoxing those negative feelings out of there for sure. You know, forgiveness. We talked about forgiveness on the last one, whether it's forgiveness for forgiving yourself or if you need to forgive somebody, even if they haven't apologize to you you can forgive them because that releases a a um, vibration that you know signals peace 
um, within yourself. So it don't matter what they say or what they do. It's about you. It's, you know, it's about us and bettering us. So release that forgiveness and, and don't let it... Um, don't let it be a part of your body. It, it cannot take up any residency here, you know, because we're on the road to greatness. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and you got to let people be who they are. You know, a, a lot of our stress comes from trying to control people, trying to, you know, get people to do things or, or be a certain thing. But you got to let people be who they are. And because, you know, happiness comes from within. You know, let's not make anyone the all of our happiness. You know, it has to start with self-love. So just saying, <laughs> um, you know, and also like laws of attraction, manifestation. Um, I really and, 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 and um, I'm sorry. And med meditation. I really want to dive into that on the next episode. Um, some people, you know, they don't even know the power behind this stuff. And it is, it's enlightening and I can't wait to get there. So that's, you know, that's amazing. <laughs> um, so detox. So once we detox mentally, we also have to detox physically because you know, we know the stuff that we eat, a lot of this food, it's not good for us. It's not helping us. It's not, it's not doing anything positive. Um, so just know that what you eat, what you put in your body is absolutely affecting who you are and your vibration. So if we can eat healthier food, I mean, the higher you're going to vibrate, the better you're going to feel, the longer your life is going to be, you know, it's, 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 we're not, uh, it's, it's live to eat, not eat to live. Wait, did I say that right? <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, um, yeah, so detox. Um, the detox I actually did with my mom is called the Jamaican duck flower detox. And it was pretty intense, I must say. Um, I definitely underestimated it. Um, I went a bit hard on it, <laughs> um, but I wanted to make sure I was getting everything out of me because, uh, you know, Dr. Sebi, uh, recommended this and, um, you know, it is a, a mucus cleanse. So it gets rid of not only just mucus, but everything, everything comes out. Um, and you know, it's pretty intense. It is it's definitely, if you look it up it says it's the most aggressive detox that you can do. So <laughs> just know that once you do this, you have just rid of your body from all sorts of junk that you did not need. And you're going to feel so much better. When I tell you I lost seven pounds <laughs> from this detox, it's, it's that powerful. Um, I did the detox. It was, um, they say it's anywhere from six to 10 hours. However, mine lasted for 15 hours. Um, like I said, I overdid mine. I really wanted to be clean. So I took two flowers instead of the one. And um, uh, you just wanna definitely store your body back up um, once doing this. You want to definitely um, get sea moss because you're gonna have to replace everything that you just took out of your body with, with, with good stuff. So you want to eat fruits, vegetables, if you can get some coconut water or, or just some distilled good water. Um, uh, yeah, and just, just eat right. You don't want to do all that in the detox and then go back to the same stuff, the same junk. Like, you know, let's elevate you guys. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be sharing more information on this detox at the end of this video. Um, just give you more information for anyone who is ready to do this detox with me. Um, also, I am so excited to share that the Journey Back to Greatness, I will be hosting a travel tribe. And our first destination, I will be releasing it uh, next Friday and the, and the dates. 
Um, it's gonna be so fun. Oh my goodness. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna say, uh, we're going to Jamaica. It's gonna be Jamaica. And I love Jamaica. I've been going to Jamaica for um, a long time now. Um, me and my family actually have property there. So I know where all the amazing spots are. Um, a lot of indigenous healing, um, all kinds of different places that I, I cannot wait to take you guys to. Um, I, it's, it's just amazing. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Um, if I could describe it, it was, it's going to be, um, of course, the same people um, that are trying are on the same road as us. So people that's trying to get to a higher level. So it's already going to be a good vibe with good people. Um, it's going to be very exotic. We're going to be eating fruits right off the land. Um, sour saps that's just healing us and it tastes amazing fresh fish fresh uh, just fresh everything we're going to be doing that um and and not just healing you know we're going to be doing a lot of healing but we're going to be having a lot of fun too and i cannot wait i have so many different um events uh, i'm not events but i have so many different activities that we're going to be doing um it's just it's just going to be so fun and I just cannot wait. I will be releasing those dates um, for the Travel Tribe um, for Jamaica next Friday. It is going to be eight spots available and um, yeah, first come first serve and I just cannot wait. You know, y'all know I am the travel guru. So just know everything is going to be amazing and I cannot wait. Um, so yeah, I was looking forward to telling y'all about that, and um, I just really, really, really appreciate this. Um, you know, this is such a passion of mine, and it means so much to me, and it really feels good, like, getting this information out into the universe. I just feel like I'm doing my part, and I'm healing, you know, a small fraction of the universe, and that works for me. <laughs> So thank you. I really appreciate you guys and I love you guys and sending you all the love and light. See you next week.